The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, fifteenth chapter, text number twenty, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November thirtieth, nineteen seventy three, in Los Angeles. Translation O Emperor, now I am separated from my friend and dear most well wisher, the Supreme Personality of Godhead and therefore my heart appears to be void of everything. In his absence I have been defeated by a number of infidel cowherdsmen while I was guarding the bodies of all the wives of Krishna. So after departure of Krishna, Krishna's all the wives, 16,108, they were being taken care of by Arjun. But some cowherds men, they plundered all the queens, and Arjun could not protect him, protect them. Oh. And this is the instance that we may be very powerful so long Krishna keeps us power. We are not independent of power. Even in the case of our job, uh, we are very much proud of our Janmai Sadya Sutasri material world. Everyone is very much proud of his birth, uh, riches, and education and beauty. Beauty. These four things are obtained as a result of pious activities. And as a result of impious activities, the opposite number. Not birth in a very nice family or nation. Uh, no wealth, poverty. Uh, no education and no beauty. But one should know that these assets, material assets, just like you American people, you have got nice assets. You are born of a very uh, respectful uh, nation, American nations are still honored all over the world. So that's a good opportunity for you, uh, Janva. You are born in. Every American is, in comparison to India, every American is rich man. Because any ordinary man earns here at least four thousand, five thousand rupees. Uh, and in India, even the high court judge, he cannot earn so much. And at most four thousand. So you should be conscious that by the grace of Krishna you have got all this. There is no poverty, there is no scarcity, there is good chance of education, and you are wealthy, uh, beautiful, everything. Janmai Sajya Sutta Sri. But if you do not become Krishna conscious, if you misuse these assets, then again Punan Mushika Bhava. You know the story, Punan Mushika Bhava. Anyone? No? Punan Mushika Bhava. Means again you become a mouse. A mouse came to a saintly person. Sir, I am very much troubled. What is that? People generally go to saintly person for some material property. That is the nature, animalistic nature. Why you should go to a saintly person for some material benefit? No, 
you go there to learn what is God. That is real business. Anyway, saintly persons sometimes receive. So what do you want? Just like Lord Shiva. He, his devotees are all like that, mouse. Uh, want something. So this uh, cat troubles me very much. Uh, so what do you want? Then let me become a cat. All right, he became a cat. So he became a cat. Then after a few days, he came back. Sir, still I am in trouble. What is that? The dogs. <laughs> they travel us very much. So what do you want? Now you want to become a dog. All right, he became. Then after a few days, one after there is nature's arrangement. Uh, one is weak, one is strong. That is nature's arrangement. Uh, so, after all, he, after all, he wanted to become a tiger. So, by the grace of the saintly person, he became a tiger. And when he became a tiger, he was staring on the saintly person. Like, oh. So, the saintly person asked him, You want to eat me? Yes. <laughs> oh. Then you again become a mouse. If by my uh, grace, by my favor, you have become tiger, so I again condemn you to become a mouse. So, you American people, you have become tiger now. Uh, Nixon tiger. But if you don't behave, Obligely. If you don't feel obliged, if the tiger feels obliged, that by the grace of this saintly person I have come to this stage of becoming a tiger, I must be very much obliged to him. But instead of becoming obliged, if you want to eat, then again become a monk. If the saintly person has got the power to make you from mouse to tiger, then he can convert you again from tiger to mouse. You must always remember this. Uh, so by the grace of God, Krishna, uh, you have become so powerful, nation, rich, uh, beautiful, educated. But grace of Krishna you have become, but if you forget Krishna, then you are again going to be mouse. Remember. Nobody will care for you. Just like Englishmen. Englishmen, they established the British Empire, great powerful, most powerful nation in the world. Now they are not so, because they misuse their power. Uh, so you get power, opulence, by the grace of Lord Krishna. And if you misuse it, uh, then you become again, uh, that is happening. That is the nature's law. Nature's law. So here, Arjun, by his personal behavior, he is saying that without Krishna, I was so great fighter that I took charge of the 16,000 wives of Krishna to take them safely because Krishna passed away, so they must be given protection. He was Krishna's friend, but he could not do so. All the queens were plundered by cow herdsmen. Therefore he says uh, that gopai rasadavi. Cow herdsmen, they are not very uh, powerful or they are ordinary men, cowherds men. But Arjuna was Khatriya, so powerful, so he was defeated by them. Therefore he is regretting that Asadvi, if I would have been defeated by another powerful person, that would have been glory. 
But I have been defeated by the cow herdsmen. You see. Asad bhi. They are not counted amongst gentlemen. Asad bhi. Abalaiva. Abalaiva. Abala is another name of the over. Just like if somebody attacks over, any young man, when he has got sixteen years old, he can attack any woman. But a woman, even though she is sixteen years or eighteen years or twenty years, she becomes immediately victim. So abolayva. Even the woman is higher in age, still she cannot protect. Therefore, woman requires protection. Uh, woman requires protection. According to Vedic culture, woman has no independence because they cannot keep their independence. It is not possible. Uh, a sixteen-year-old boy can go safely all over the world, but a sixteen-year girl cannot. That is not. Possible. By nature they are weak, so they require protection. And until she reaches youthhood, she is protected by the father. As soon as she reaches youthhood, she is given to a young man, her husband, to give protection. And in the old days, she is protected by the elderly sons. This is the Vedic culture. There are three phases of life: childhood, youthhood, and old age. So, because they are weak, in the Western countries, the women are given freedom like men, but that is unnatural, unnatural. And therefore, these poor souls are being exploited by the other section. It is a great deficiency of the Western sociology, but the Vedic culture is different from this. Woman is not given independence, and generally, one man marries more than one wife. That is Vedic culture. Just like see Krishna. It's not sixteen thousand one hundred. That is allowed. Krishna was personality of Godhead. He could maintain his wife sixteen sixteen millions wife. That is not difficult for him. But even ordinary ordinary man, Chaturas especially, they used to marry more than one wife. Still, not only wife, but one wife. One princess is married, and along with her, hundred, two hundred maid servants. They will go with the king. Just like when Bhushudev was married to Devaki, some hundreds of maid servants was given. With so, women. The conclusion is the women are weak. They should be given protection. They should not be ill-treated. Just like a father gives protection to the children, it does not mean it is ill-treatment. There is no question of but protection. Otherwise, of alive, they can be victimized by any man powerful because man is powerful. So. So hang nipenda rohita purushottami, you know. We also require. Don't be proud because I am man. I don't require protection. Here it is said, Krishna says, Arjun says, purushottami na. So hang rohita. Now I have no protection. Arjun was so great hero. Still he required protection. Purushottami. Purusha, purusha means enjoy. 
Uh, the supreme enjoyer is Krishna. If he does not give protection, you cannot enjoy your life. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, Krishna says, Krishna is giving protection, but uh, not as much as he wants to give you protection. Because you deny to accept. Because you deny to accept his protection, therefore he is giving protection to you as much as you want. And if you want full protection, uh, then the condition is sarva-dharmān paritajya mami kaṁ sarva Give up your own manufactured concocted means of protection, you just surrender unto me, and I will give you protection. Protection for what? Protection from sinful activities. Uh, we are uh, victimized by our sinful activities due to ignorance. Uh, we do not know what to do, what not to do. Out of ignorance we do something and we become victimized by the laws of nature. But if you surrender to Krishna, He will give you protection. He will never be victimized. He will never be victimized. Because Krishna said, Tisang satadhyuktanang bhajatang priti purvakam buddhi yogam dadamitam jina maam upajant. Krishna will guide you. Krishna is within yourself. And he can speak to you. You can hear him also, provided you are fully surrendered. So it does not mean that Arjuna was not fully surrendered. Uh, Arjuna was fully surrendered. And Arjuna was fully protected by Krishna. Neither these queens, 16,000 queens, could be plundered away by some cowherd's man. Uh, but the it is an inner stance that even a person like Arjuna, he will be helpless without Krishna. He'll be helpless. What to speak of ourselves? He'll be helpless. That is it. He's showing that example. Krishna, when Suhag Narendra Rahita Purusatam, now I am bereft of the association of my dearest friend, Krishna. Sakya. Sakya means friend. Sakya, priyena, not only friend, very dear friend, priyena. Suhida, suhida means sweet. There are different kinds of friends. But sweet is a friend who uh, always think of his friends, how he'll be happy. That is called sweet. Uh, that is, they, this description is given about, about the devotees also. Suhida sarva bhutanam. A devotee is always thinking how whole world will be happy. Suhida sarva. Not only human beings, but animals. Birds, trees, beasts, everyone. A devotee does not like to see even a grass is unreasonably cut. That is devotee. That is the way that for Vaishnava. What is that? Vaishnavāna. Vaishnav is happy. Just like say, Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj said, Prahlad Maharaj was praying Lord Nishingadev to pacify him. So the commentator says that Prahlad Maharaj might have been very much afraid of this uh, ferocious feature of the Lord, Nishingadev. So he assured Nishingadev, My dear Lord, don't think that I am afraid of your this feature. No, no. Naivad Vijay. Neither I am afraid of this materialistic existence. Naivad Vijay paradurattaya vaitaranya tad vijya gāyana maha mṛta-magna-cittā. I am quite confident 
that I have no fear. And he has practically seen that his father uh, teased him in so many ways, but at last he was protected. So why you should not believe? Uh, he knows that I have dedicated my life to Krishna, and Krishna is not so ungrateful that he will not give me protection. I have this one. But one who does not believe in Krishna, he thinks that he will protect himself. Aparsatam atmadattam grihi sugriyami vina. Those who are not God realized, they think that they will be protected by their society, friendship, love, country, nation, and like that. But that is not possible. Just like you are flying in the sky, so many aeroplanes at a time, sometimes in a bunch, in a group they fly. But if one of the aeroplanes is in danger, no other aeroplane can help. We finish. So similarly, we are also flying as aeroplanes in the open sky. The protection, you don't expect protection from your so-called society, friends, and love, materially. When there is question of danger, you have to protect you with your own strength. Therefore, if we want actually protection, uh, we should uh, take protection of the Supreme, uh, Krishna or His devotee. Uh, Krishna is Sri Sarva Bhutana. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhoktaram Jagadavasam Sarvalokamayasaram Sri Dham Sarva Bhutana. I am the friend of everyone. He can become friend, he is living within our heart as friend. <coughs> but we refuse the guidance of such a nice friend. That is our misfortune. Krishna is so kind, so friendly, that you are uh, just like one bird is flying from one tree to another, and another bird is following him. Uh, so similarly, we are flying from one body to another. Tatha dehantara prapti. Uh, and Krishna does not leave us. He also going with you, uh, just to give you guidance. But we won't give. That's like father. It's very natural. Father naturally wants to guide the son without any uh, motive. That is father's nature. Similarly, Krishna or God, the Supreme Father, He is naturally inclined to give us protection. Naturally. Therefore He comes. Uh, Krishna comes. Jada jada hi dharma saklani bhavati. Puritrana sadhuna vinasaya cha duskita. Krishna is too business. Uh, first of all, preaching, these rascals who have forgotten Krishna, uh, that uh, we are very intimately related. Uh, I am the father of all living entities. So you come to me, come to home, you will be happy. I am not poor. I can provide you with all necessary. Eko jubhunam vidudhati kama that one can provide everyone with necessities of life. Actually he is doing uh, what government is doing for the cats and dogs and the ants and the trees. They are not doing anything, rather they are cutting. Uh, when there is jungle, for that paper meal, they are cutting all the trees. No protection for the trees. They are all cutting all the throats of the cows and animals for eating. So the government cannot give protection. Uh, nobody can give protection. Uh, only Krishna can give protection. Therefore, uh, we should always seek the protection of Krishna. That he is our security, uh, not any other thing. Uh. <coughs> so, sweet means Krishna is sweet. Sweet means who always, uh, I mean, see, trying for our welfare. Uh, he comes himself. Uh, and even though he cannot, they, we do not accept. Krishna said, Sarva-dharmāna-paritajya-māmekaṁ sarva-māsī. 
Manmana Bhavavad Bhaktavad Jyaji Maag Namaskuru. He gives plain advice that you always think of me, become my devotee, uh, offer your respect, obeisances unto me, that will make your life perfect. Uh, but we shall not do that. Uh, we shall not do that. We shall think of so many other things, but we will never accept thinking of Krishna. We shall become devotees of so many rascals, uh, even of, of a dog also. But we shall never become devotee of Guru. This is the position. We are devotee, our master, to our wife, to our children, to our country, to our society. But as soon as you say that you become devotee of Krishna, ah, oh, he is enraged immediately. What nonsense you are speaking. I have got so many work to do. Why shall I become devotee of Krishna? And this is the disease. This is the disease. Therefore, Krishna ultimately says that you give up all this nonsense, and if you surrender unto me, then I shall give you protection. Naturally, just like we are preaching Krishna consciousness. We are not devotee to the people in general, then why you are preaching? We are devotee. We are actually devotee, without any motive. Any so-called political leader, uh, he has got some motive when he becomes devotee of the nation. He has got some motive, but we have no such motive. We simply say plainly that you become happy by becoming devotee of Krishna. You are now devotee of your last anger eh? and illusion. You, are, you have become devotee of so many things, Daskalam. You simply become devotee of Krishna, then your problems will be solved. Kamadina Ankotidhana Kotidha Palita Dunidi. We are devotee somebody, but we are not devotee of somebody. We are we have got some motive. Just like now it is coming to expose so many leaders, they got election. Uh, pretending themselves devotee of the nation in everywhere, not only in your country. But actually they are not devotee of the nation. They were devotee of their own lusty desires. That's all. That if I occupy this post, then I shall be able to fulfill my lusty desire. Nobody is devotee. Devotion is only applicable to Krishna. Uh, if somebody is uh, proclaiming himself that I am devotee, uh, servant of my nation, of my society, of my wife, of my children, all false. <coughs> yeah, nobody is devotee. Everyone has got some motive. Uh, even the intimate relationship between husband and wife, there is some motive. The husband has got some motive, and the wife has got. Some. As soon as the motive is not fulfilled. Divorce. Oh, no one. No. Uh, take another chapter. This is going on. You see? This is going on, and therefore, in the name of devotion, in the name of love, in the name of faith, uh, they are trying to satisfy their own senses. This is called illusion. And he will never be happy so long he will try to satisfy his senses. And that is the truth. They will never be happy. Because uh, I have given this example, the parts and parcel of your body, if separately the part and parcel of the body wants to satisfy itself, it will never be satisfied. The only satis means of satisfaction is that the part and parcel conjointly work and satisfy the stomach. And then it is. Similarly, we are part and parcel of Krishna. If we want to satisfy ourselves, our senses independently, we shall never be satisfied. This is the fact. You have to satisfy Krishna, and then you will be satisfied. This is the fact. Rishikena, Rishikesa, Sevanam Bhakti Because actually, the owner is Krishna. I am claiming this is my hand. It is not my hand. It is Krishna's hand. 
He has given us to use it. So if I don't use it for Krishna, then it will be criminal. It will be criminal. Jagyate karma natro, lokayam karma manna. Simply for Krishna you have to work. And if you work for your sense gratification, then you will be entangled. This is called karma manna. You will be entangled, more and more. Javat mano vai karmanu sakta, tavat namanchati diha vanda. So long you will be. I mean to say, sense gratifying minded, because every our, our everyone's mind is absorbed in the thought of gratifying his own senses. So so long we shall be absorbed in this type of thought, then we have to accept the body, uh, either human body or uh, other body. There are eight million. Four hundred thousand different types of forms and body, so we have got different types of desires also, because we are prakriti karmana ani guni karmana ani sarvasa. We are under the most material nature, and the material nature has got the most different modes: goodness, passion, and ignorance. You mix up these three, three into three, it becomes nine; nine into nine, it becomes eighty-one; eighty-one into twelve, it increases. It didn't do. Therefore, we see so many varieties of life according to the mentality. So, if we work on, or according to the dictation of the mind, then we become entangled. And if we work under the direct dictation of Krishna, then we become free. This is the process of Krishna consciousness. Thank you.